especially when it comes to extended techniques, we try out many, many things and uh, we explored a lot the usage of different kind of toys, like bean shakers or it was the first time actually in concert I had to play a kazoo. Oh, the actual kazoo playing I didn't find that difficult, but just it took a little time to get used to it because we had to switch to different tools all the time. So just to basically to uh, put everything in order. So uh, when I need to, to play a bean shake or, or a kazoo or my other bow or my first bow, that everything is on the right place and then I'm ready for it. And then because some, sometimes the sections go really fast. Uh, we used a, like a very old school music box at the end of Bachelorette, which I thought was very cool. Although it was su surprisingly hard to, you know, to play it in tempo, I found. <laughs> Just also, you know, when you always play violin and you know what the violin usually answers and like how to play it and then you get a music box and you have to like try to figure out how to get it to behave. <laughs> but it was very fun. I play with the London Contemporary Orchestra quite a bit and with them, we've done quite a bit with Johnny Greenwood, who's the guitarist from Radiohead and he writes a lot of um, kind of contemporary classical music using like a lot of techniques that he's explored with us and so I kind of I kind of stole quite a few ideas from him like he uses this these things they're called pack eye shakers um, and you can shake them for rhythm um, you, you can also like he, he uses them quite a lot for this sort of stuff, or just hitting, um, yeah, and it's a really cool, like, rhythmic device. It's an African instrument. It's um, it's just the bean pod from a from a tree, and it's just dried, and so the stuff inside is just the beans.